Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glide Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss with you what is revision cloud in Revit and for what it is used in drawing. So uh, this is a simple residential plan and I am going to use revision cloud in this drawing. So I am going to my annotate tab here. And you can see this is the term for revision cloud. You can see some cloud like symbol. So if you bring your mouse here, you can see the definition of this revision cloud. So it's as a revision cloud to the current view or set to indicate design areas that have changed. So basically, if you are working as an architect or civil engineer or any other construction professional and you are into designing of uh, floor plans or building designs and if you want to make any revision to your drawing, so you are required to use any uh, revision cloud and put into drawing and mark it into drawing and send to, to the site so that your contractor or site engineer uh, can understand easily and make changes as per drawing so it will uh, reduce the confusion at the site so uh, uh, the drawing final drawing has a lot of revision in the process of designing so the uh, revision cloud is very important term so now I am going to use this revision cloud and suppose I want to uh, replace this door here and i want some more uh, wider door here so i want to revise my drawing and i want to increase the landing area here so i want to uh, revise this staircase so this is just to make you understand how to use revision cloud so i am going to click on this revision cloud and after clicking you are required to draw the revision cloud where you want to make changes so i have decided that i will increase the uh, width of this entrance gate and uh, the width of this staircase to make you understand so uh, these lines you can use to draw so this is rectangle this is the line and this is the circle and so on like you use in other commands of uh, revit tools so i am going to use a uh, rectangle tool here and if you bring your mouse here and now i am going to draw my revision cloud so i will press a left click on my mouse and you can see this cloud like things this is the revision cloud so you can mark here on the drawing so i want to increase my door width of entrance gate so i am going to click once and this is the revision cloud here and after finishing uh, you can see this mode here finish edit mode and now we are done for this area so if you will go to properties of this revision cloud you can see this is the revision sequence one revision one so this is the term for this i will uh, tell you how to use it later on and now i want to make a revision for this staircase area so i am going to again annotate and i will select revision cloud here and i will select this rectangle and i will mark here and i will move this i will finish this first and i will drag this here so this is the revision for the staircase area after this you can uh, make editing to your drawings and your site engineer will be uh, they will understand it easily so I am going to uh, view tab here and you can see this term here seats issue revision so uh, you can prepare a seats and revision to a site and by using this or else you can go to your manage tab here and you can go to additional setting and you can see seats issue or revision from here also so i'm going to select this and you can see this seats issue and revisions here and you can see uh, this is the sequence one and revision number one which you were seeing in the properties and numbering can do numeric or if you uh, 
select this arrow you can do alpha numeric numbering also and you can put a date here also so you can put any date so i am going to put today's date here 2525 and you can select this revision one and uh, if you select this issued here and if you put a, a tick mark here you cannot make any revision to your drawing like this afterwards so it will be issued uh, and you can put a tick mark after everything is final so that you cannot make any editing to your drawing so i'm going to uh, leave like this and issued to uh, you can put your contractor name or site engineer or the man who is handling at the site so i'm going to uh, name site engineer here who is allotted for the project and issued by put your name or any other name who is issuing the drawing so i'm going to put add a studio and you can show cloud and tag and you can select none also and tag also cloud and tag also after this if you are making any other uh, changes to your drawing you can click this term here add and you can do uh, another uh, revision here and you can put a date so i am going to put today's date only and this is the revision two and you should to site engineer do this likewise you can revise your drawing so after this you can see this is the customized numbering you can uh, click this and you can select alpha numeric from here also and numeric if you want so i'm going to select numeric and you can change the arc length 0 feet 0 3 by 4 inches so this is the arc length in the drawing and uh, i will tell you i'm going to first apply this and now uh, you can uh, select this and you can see this is the revisions sequence one uh, revision one and you can select this also and you can select from this sequence two revision two so i'm going to apply so if we'll select this you can see this is sequence two and sequence one so now after this uh, if you want to apply any color here or if you want to change the, this arc length here this is the arc length so revision clouds are made of arc length here is like one two three four so if you want to make any uh, changes to the scale of this arc length you can go to uh, this uh, view tab here and you can select this sheet issue revision and you can change this scale here so i am going to change this scale from three by four to three by eight and i am going to apply and okay and you can see this is, the scale is reduced here so likewise you can adjust with your scale so if you want to show this particular revision cloud to any color you can go to um, you can uh, select this and you can go to uh, visibility graphics easy and can change this color so suppose i want to show this in magenta color so i will go to visibility graphics and now i will go to annotation and categories and after this i will look for revision clouds here so this is the revision clouds and you can select this and you can see these lines override so i'm going to select this and uh, color i'm going to select your magenta and click OK, OK, and apply, OK, and you can see this color is changed here to magenta, so it will be easy to understand on the side that this particular color. So you can use, or you can leave black, or gray, and whatever color if you want, and you can also uh, change this from object style here. This uh, color of revision clouds, so you can do these settings from here also you can go to annotation objects and you can select revision clouds in object style by going to manage here so you can see this revision cloud this is in black so you can do 
from both the visibility graphics and object style so uh, the last is to how to tag this so you can go to annotate here and you can select this uh, tag by category and you can select this tag here and can start tagging your revision cloud so this is triangle 1 and this is the triangle 2 so likewise you can tag your revision clouds and you can also write any text here if you are revising your drawing here so you can select this or text and you can select this text by arrow and you can start writing any text here so yeah door entrance door entrance door width should be increased so there are many ways you can uh, start writing your revision cloud text or you can mark and send to uh, the site by using this uh, and the sheets issue and revision and you can mark any uh, description here like uh, entrance door door width is uh, less write it here the issue you click ok so if you will select this uh, revision cloud here you can see uh, this is the description of this revision number one revision date issue to site engineer issued by clarity Street. so likewise you can do this uh, revision in your drawing so this was the tutorial for the to do session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye